Guys, I'm back. So today I'm going to be explaining the color charge. So let's get started. So what is color charge? Color charge is essentially the thing that's responsible for the strong force, okay? So, well, what's the strong force? The strong force is the thing that couples together the quarks in a proton and a neutron. It couples protons and neutrons together inside atoms. It's, a, it's the strongest force, as its name implies, but it's actually only carried at such a small distance because it's so strong. You can watch the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle if you want to understand more about why it's only carried at such a short distance. Um, but essentially, it's really strong. That's why you never see quarks um, individually floating around, is because that it's so strong um, that the quarks instantly get pulled together into a hadronic thing, like a meson or a baryon. So, um, what is color charge? How does color charge relate to the strong force? Well, color charge is sort of to the strong force as electric charge is to the um, electric, uh, sorry, <laughs> electromagnetic force. I, I'm getting a little tongue-tied. So, Let's make the analogy, okay? It's important to realize that one, that the word color is chosen somewhat arbitrarily uh, as really this is not the actual color of the particle as in like a red uh, quark isn't actually red. It's just a, just, just a name we've given the color charge and, and we've given the different states of the color charges different um, colors because there's three different colors um, like there's three different primary colors, uh, but it's important to note that it's not actually the real color of the particle. So, um, how does color charge create the strong force? Well, it was originally hypothesized because of something called the Pauli exclusion principle, which states that no two fermions can have the same exact quantum numbers. But if you look, there's, um, say in an up quark, two up and, uh, one, sorry, not an up quark, in a proton, two up and one down, okay? So these two up quarks would have the same quantum numbers exactly in this quark. So they thought, well, they can't have the same exact quantum numbers. Something has to be different. Turns out what's different is the color. So what color does is essentially the uh, difference in color, if you will, uh, sort of different colors attract, if you will. Uh, I'll explain this more detail in a second, just like different electric charges attract. So these different colors of quarks sort of attract to each other, and this strong force pulls them in. So um, th that's the analogy, is sort of like the three different colors are like the electric charges. It's the electric charge creates the electromagnetic force due to attractions between charges. So what really happens? Well, color charge, a quark, can be either red, green, red, yellow, or blue, I believe. So, red, yellow, or blue. Could be, uh, actually, red, green, or blue, sorry. RGB, red, green, blue. Three primary colors. And it can also be anti-red, anti-green, and anti-blue, which are like the whatever reverse colors, if you will, uh, those colors are. So, say we have a, just any baryon with a red, green, and a blue quark, okay? You also know that gluons transmit the strong force. So gluons can have a combination of two, so like red and anti-green, okay? Gluon is a red, anti-green gluon, okay? A combination of both the red and the anti-green, okay? So what happens to cause the gluons to, to switch? Well, we, we have a red, green, and a blue, okay? So what's going to happen is, say, we'll just focus on the red and the green for now, okay? So say the green, okay, these, these are uh, taken from Wikipedia, by the way, these uh, images. So say the, um, the green cork, what it's going to do is it's going to emit a, um, a gluon, okay? So the, 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 what's going to happen is the red cork is going to couple to the green cork. Okay, and the way it's going to do this is it's going to emit a gluon that is red anti-green. Okay, so what happens is the gluon is red and anti-green. So what happens is you can think of this red quark as it gets rid of the red color charge through the red gluon, and it gets rid of the anti-green charge, and the getting rid of and the anti sort of cancel each other out, so it becomes green. 
And then this green cork, this green, the green of the cork and the anti-green of the um, gluon cancel out. And then the red of the gluon is then the new color of this new cork. It's not the new cork, it's the same cork, but it has a new color. So, in other words, they flip-flop color. And then this is what keeps them attracted to each other because they keep exchanging gluons to keep color changing, is what it's called. Keep flip-flopping the colors um, between all three of them. And that's what creates um, the strong forces, essentially the attraction between the different colors. Okay, that's, that's how it works, is you have these uh, the gluons and the um, quarks sort of flip-flop colors by emitting their color and emitting the anti-color of the one that it's um, going to. So if you had red and blue, the blue one would emit a blue anti-red, and then uh, so it would um, get rid of the blue and get rid of the anti-red, which means it would become red itself, and then the red cork it was going to, the red and the anti-red would cancel out, and it would become blue. So that's really all color charge is. I'm sure there's complex mathematical things that I don't understand myself. Um, but that's really all it is. So just to, to sum up real quick here, um, strong force is what um, couples things together. The strong force itself is caused by the coupling of the, the attraction of different uh, colors in quarks or anything that, um, that works by the strong force. And these different colors um, are attracted because they are different and differences attract and they uh, Im uh, they exchange gluons um, and they keep flip-flopping colors or color changing, if you will. And this creates, um, this This is what a hadron is, or a meson actually is when a quark and an anti-quark, it works with mesons as well, but they keep flip-flopping colors. Um, and But the important thing to know is that one assumes the color of the other one and the other assumes the color of this one, so color is conserved, because you remember conservation is the basis of all physics. Really, the conservation laws almost never broke, except for Heisenberg uncertainty principle, really. So the color is conserved, so it remains the same. But this way, the quarks can have, uh, can not violate the Pauli exclusion principle, and they're attracted via the strong force.